Welcome to another edition of Map for No Reason. In this edition, we look at this problem. So let S1 and S2 be two convex sets in R2. We have to show that if S1 intersection S2 is not a null set, then S1 intersection S2 is a convex set. And if we look at the Cartesian product of S1 and S2 as a subset of R4, then that is a convex subset of R4. So we have two results to prove um, and we will do it one by one. But before that, uh, we first define what is a convex set. So S is called a convex set or rather convex subset of R2 if, if you have two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 and both of them belong to R2, then lambda of x1, y1 plus 1 minus lambda of x2, y2 and this is if simplified becomes lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 and lambda y1 plus 1 minus lambda y2. So, this belongs to S for all lambda between 0 and 1. So, in diagrammatic form, one can think of an oval like shape and if you have these two points x1, y1, x2, y2, then this entire line belongs to the set. So, if you take any two points, the line segment joining these two points belong to S. So, if that happens, then we say that a set is a convex set. So, we will use this definition here. So, suppose S1 intersection S2 is not equal to the null set and let x1, y1 and x2, y2 both belong to S1 intersection S2. and we let 0 less than equal to lambda less than equal to. So, so let us choose a lambda which is between 0 and 1. Now, since S1 is convex, lambda times x1 comma y1 plus 1 minus lambda times x2 comma y2 belongs to. Similarly, since S2 is convex, lambda times x1 comma y1 plus 1 minus lambda times x2 comma y2 that also belongs to S2. So, this point lambda times x1 comma y1 plus 1 minus lambda times x2 comma y2 belongs to both S1 and S2. So, therefore, lambda of x1 comma y1 plus 1 minus lambda into x2 comma y2 belongs to S1 intersection S2. So, therefore, we have proved that S1 intersection S2 is a convex set in R2. So, let us now go to the second part. To prove the second part, we take two points in S1 cross S2. So, how does this points look like? So, so, let us suppose the point in S1 looks like x1 comma y1, whereas a point in S2 looks like here u1 comma v1. So, this is a point in S1 cross S2. Let us take another point and we call this point x2 comma y2 comma u2 comma v2 and this is a point in S1 cross S2. And we have to show that for any lambda which is between 0 and 1, lambda times x1 comma y1 comma u1 comma v1 plus 1 minus lambda times x2 comma y2 comma u2 comma v2 belongs to S1 cross S2. Now, the left hand side becomes lambda into x1 comma y1 comma lambda u1 comma v1 plus 1 minus lambda into x2 comma y2 comma 1 minus lambda times u2 comma v2 and uh, using rules of vector spaces we see that the above is equal to lambda x1 comma y1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 comma y2 comma lambda u1 comma v1 plus 1 minus lambda u2 comma v1. Now we know that both S1 and S2 are convex sets. So, this point lambda x1 comma y1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 comma y2 belongs to S1 and also lambda u1 comma v1 plus 1 minus lambda u2 comma v2 belongs to S2. 
So therefore, this point belongs to, so for any lambda, lambda of this plus 1 minus lambda of this belongs to S1 cross S2 and therefore, it meets the requirement for a convex set and we can claim that S1 cross S2 is a convex subset of R4 that is R2 cross R2. It's a good point to stop. Thank you.